Hey everybody, this is Bruce Gumbrelli with uh, Gumbrelli Guitars. I'm doing a little demo. I haven't done one of these in a while. And what I've got here is I got a little uh, vibro chant. I'm going to run in mono. And I'm going to take this guitar, which has got uh, one of my pick guards. This is my test harness guitar. And for those of you who are familiar with that, I just run my uh, pick guards through this guy just to double check certain circuits. Some of them are real straightforward, so I'm not too worried. But when you get, when you do things a little different, you got to double check that things aren't always what you, what you think they are. Because for example, you can measure something, but yet it doesn't sound right. And there's a lot of reasons why that can happen. And I won't go into that. But so let me demo this guy. This is a 60s Ventera. Uh, it's a revoiced modern or C pickups in it. However, what I've done is I replaced this pickup, which is the, the neck pickup with a deluxe drive. Now, whenever I do something like that and I introduce another pickup with two other ones or maybe even three different pickups, I'm looking for a certain sound collection because different pickups give you different sounds. And so the idea is that, well, let me do complementary, and then I could get more different sounds out of guitar than if I use all the same pickup. And so, this particular one, because of the way these two guys sound, when I do series arrangement, dual uh, strap bucker, and if I do this one, I get some really nice tones and I threw in a spank switch. So this has got a dual strap bucker and a spank switch. So if I turn everything off and I go into the neck, this is where the deluxe drive is. And of course, with my little vibro champ, I'm not gonna be cranking out a ton of bass here, but that's cool. So, and once again, not a guitar playing demonstration video. It's a sound video. That's just what we're looking at. So that's your neck pickup, middle pickup, a lot more treble, and versus the more jazzier, darker sounding. And then you go to the bridge pickup, and it sounds classically bridge. Real punchy, not a lot of bottom. And then you have your in-between settings, two and four. And of course, the one that uh, is using the neck pickup. Okay, that's all good. So that's a good basic sound. I can mess with the amp. I could get more bottom end. Uh, I could run it through pedals. These particular pickups actually work really good with pedals because they're not high output necessarily. This, this one's going to be a lot warmer. Okay, so let's kick on the dual strap bucker. And let, I'll show you one at a time what happens. I'll, I'll deal with the neck first. So, neck pickup. Nice classic uh, strat neck sound. So I kick it in. Slightly changes the tone, fattens it up quite a bit, ups the output. Off. On. Nice and warm, beautiful sound. Okay, so let's go to the bridge. Same thing with it off. I'm going to switch it on. Now listen what happens. Really nice, clear, fuller tone. So it, it really depends on your application on what you want to use. But you can see it just makes these three pickups come alive. So it gives you all this whole different realm of sounds that you can get out of this. Versus... And so now to take this to the next level is the par parallelizing of the neck and the bridge through a, a spank switch. So what that does, it's going to take these other tones and it's going to 
kind of give you this whole different other palette that you can use. So without dealing with uh, the strap buckers or the series arrangements. Okay, this is the sound of the bridge without the spank on and without the dual strap bucker on. Now you turn on the spank switch. That's a really good, nice classic sound there. And it's what it's doing, it's blending these two guys together. So you get that d deluxe drive warmth coming through on the bridge. Okay, so then if we kick on the dual strap bucker, it's really gonna open up. So you got a lot of different palettes you can work with there. Very, very cool. Um, with this particular pick guard, the tones are classical. You got medium neck tone and then uh, bridge tone. Those are standard Fender cap, 0.022. That's it for this quick, quick demo. But you get an idea of what it's like and what you can do. So this is our great new setup. Uh, it's got the 60s pickups and a real nice solid 60 sound, but yet you can break out of it and you can get a little bit more warmth, a little bit more of a rock drive and works awesome with pedals. This is this is gonna, gonna give, give you a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, have a great rocking time and always good to throw out my stuff and I love the feedback that you guys have been giving me on, on these pick guards designs and uh, I do custom uh, work and that's I've really enjoyed every single job that's that's been tossed o over to me and so thanks a lot everybody rock on Bruce Gumbrelli Gumbrelli guitars for Stratocaster design see me on on stratocasterdesign.com uh, and I, I put stuff up on reverb on e eBay that are pre-built with specialty circuits like the dual strap bucker and different levels I, I put some with the fancier pickups and some of them with the real basic even a squire type arrangement so you can get entry into whichever level you want to get in. And, and trust me, these circuits will take a square uh, pit guard and bump it up a notch. <laughs> anyway, have a great one and rock on. Take care.